Hey, I'm Coach Williams. I'm coaching the golf team at DMS here this year. Looking forward to a great season. Um, keep your ears out for any information, and I'll see you guys on the course. Hi, I'm Coach Hammontree, and I'm look, really looking forward to this track season. Uh, we got cut short last year because of COVID, and the one meet we were in was a real big meet down in Atlanta, and our girls ended up winning it. This year, we've got some boys that came out, so we should have a good boys team as well as, as a dominant girls team. The biggest challenge this year is, looks like it's going to be weather. It's always weather. It's, it's harder to run in the rain and the cold, so we end up being inside a lot. If the weather and COVID will stay out of our way, I think we'll have a great season. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, DMS Spotlight! Hi, um, I'm Krista Wingfield, Coach Wingfield's wife. Um, I see Coach Wingfield as a role model, probably due to all the obstacles that he's overcome in his life. Um, he didn't always choose to be a, a teacher. He did go back to school later in life, and even though things were hard, and he went through several things throughout his life, he just pushed through, and he's just always um, led by example. He cares about people, and he would do anything for people. Well, the reason I became a teacher is, just to be honest, it was like a childhood dream. I never really seen a lot of African American teachers. Uh, most of the teachers I saw were either Caucasian, they were female. Um, I didn't have a male teacher until I got to junior high school. So it was just something that I thought, you know what, I want to try that. So that's the real reason that I really wanted to be a teacher. Um, I have a couple role models. Um, some were in a teaching profession. Um, I think the first time I really saw an African American teacher was probably um, Charles Gwynn. That was, I think I was in the sixth grade or seventh grade. That was um, junior high school. And then I met um, Marcus Starlin. Um, I knew him from my eighth grade years. He's also one of my coaches. So seeing these guys just kind of made me say, you know, this is possible. You know, I kind of think if you can see it, you can be it. So when I saw them, I thought, you know what, maybe this dream, maybe I can actually do this. Uh, first thing I say is don't give up on your dreams. Even if you don't see people that look like you doing the things that you want to do, that shouldn't be a barrier. You should try. Um, don't just fall back on, you know, don't um, don't fall back on, I guess, some of the stereotypes, um, you know, being an athlete or being an entertainer. Nothing wrong with these things. But if you see something different for yourself, then, you know, you need to try. You need to really, you know, make that your, your singular focus. 